What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Javier, the crazy tool guy. Today I got something very special for all you DeWalt fans out there, which is the DeWalt 12 inch blade capacity, compound dual bevel, miter saw, the DW716. This thing's been in my possession for a while now, and this thing rocks. It's got a powerful 15 amp motor that produces 3600 RPM. This thing doesn't mess around. It's got plenty of power to destroy, or should I say, cut through materials with ease. This thing is built like a tank. The majority of the saw is made of metal. It's very sturdy and uses very little plastic. The entire base is made of metal with only the curve plate and miter lock lever made of plastic. On top, the arm, gearbox, and blade housing are made of metal. Just the motor housing, the handle, and blade guard are made of plastic. It uses a 12 inch blade, and what I like most about it is the cut capacity. Check out this piece of laminate flooring I got right here. This board is almost 8 inches wide and it can cut it in one chop. It has a horizontal cut capacity to cut baseboards lying flat up to 10 inches. It can easily tackle 2x8s no problem and check this out, it can even cut 2x10s. To do so you have to remove the sliding fence, set a 2x material like a 2x8 and lay the 2x10 on top and up against the back fence. Then boom, you're ready to go. It also can cut a 2x8 at 45 degrees also using the back fence. It has a tall fence so it can cut tall items like baseboards standing up at up to 6.5 inches. You can also place nested crown molding up to 6 and 5 8 inches. What about bevel cuts? Well unlike the DW715 which can only bevel cut one way, this saw can bevel cut both ways. Now this isn't a necessary feature for most as you can do the same thing with a single bevel saw but you will have to flip boards a lot. The dual bevel feature saves you a lot of time and hassle. You can go up to 48 degrees both ways. On the base it's got miter detents for all the popular angles and for accuracy. The detents make getting the popular angles perfect as the handle drops into place and takes all the guesswork out of getting the perfect angle. The handle uses a trigger to easily switch between miter detents and also has a detent override switch in case you want to switch between plenty of odd angles. The detent override makes it easier as you don't need the trigger but the drawback is that if you don't get the correct angle you have no one to blame but yourself. One thing I really enjoy about DeWalt miter saw such as this one is that they have a cam lock handle that clamps down to lock and you just pull it up to unlock. This saves a lot of time and hassle when switching angles as you don't have to twist to tighten or untighten a knob like other miter saws use. This really saves a ton of time, especially for doing jobs that require constant changing miter angles such as trim work. So who cares about all the features and performance if the angles aren't accurate? The good thing about this DeWalt miter saw is that the accuracy is great right out of the box. I'm able to join angled cuts and they match up nicely. Just check out this simple frame I made with trim molding and 45 degree cuts all the pieces lined up nicely. I've been using this saw since 2012 and the accuracy hasn't changed. But let's say if you ever need to adjust the angle settings, if they ever need adjusting, this saw's got you covered. Everything can be adjusted from the miter angle plate and the bevel angle scale and all the way up to the 45 and 33.85 degree bevel stops. This saw is great because it manages to keep the size and weight down. If it was a sliding miter saw, it would definitely take up more space and weigh more. This saw weighs 44 pounds. It's not that heavy, even a small dude like me can pick it up. It's got two side grips and a top handle to easily transport this beast. I like that it can easily fit in the back of my trunk in my four door car. It won't fit as is, but I like that it has a lock pin to lock it into the cutting position to be able to take up less space in storage. For those of you that care to know, it has a seven foot long power cord meaning you're still going to need an extension cord for most projects. What about the accessories? Out of the box the DW716 comes with the miter saw itself, a 12 inch carbide blade, a dust bag, and a blade wrench. Now before I talk more about the accessories, let's consider the dust bag. It does work and it does pick up dust, but don't expect it to pick up all the dust. This isn't really a downside as all dust bags don't collect all the dust. If you want to minimize dust as much as possible, use a vacuum 
with the included vac port on the back. Okay, let's get back to the accessories. This saw doesn't include the basics, such as extensions or a clamp. Most miter saws include these, but on this saw, they have to be purchased separately. I'm guessing they're assuming you're going to be using this miter saw with a miter saw stand, and therefore you don't need built-in extensions, but I feel they should have at least included a clamp. I don't have a miter saw stand as of yet, so the lack of built-in extensions is frustrating, but as for the clamp, in a way I'm glad that they didn't include one, as it probably would have been very cheap to keep the cost down, but the one you can purchase separately is very nice. There's also a crown molding fence accessory for making cuts on crown molding and adjustable link stops for making repetitive cuts of equal length. On top of that, you got the ability to add a lighting system to your miter saw. You got your choice of either a laser attachment that casts a laser line over your cut line or an LED light attachment that casts a shadow over your cut line. Most of you considering this DW716 are probably looking at the very similar DW715 and you're wondering what the differences are between the two. The biggest difference is single bevel versus dual bevel. The DW715 can only bevel angle cuts in one direction, while this DW716 can bevel angle cuts in both directions. I was studying both saws, and it seems that the DW716 achieves a dual bevel design by moving the motor to the back and left side of the saw, and requires a belt driven gearbox as opposed to the DW715, which has a direct drive motor. They seem to use similar motors, but the DW715 gets a bit more RPM up to 4000. The next major difference is a taller fence design on the DW716 and the ability to cut larger pieces. Both fences are removable on the DW716 to be able to use the back fence for a larger cutting capacity as opposed to the DW715 only has one removable fence. Vertical cut capacity is increased on the DW716 but only when cutting nested crown molding and horizontal cut capacity difference from up to a 2x8 on the DW715 to up to a 2x10 on the DW716 with the unique back fence. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the DeWalt Miter Saw DW716. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all my upcoming reviews. I always have something good going on.